Hello everyone and uh, welcome to this tutorial on thumbnails. Now, I'm not the best at thumbnails and I've been trying to get better, um, but today we're going to make a thumbnail um, from the uh, Quake 4 uh, logo and we're going to try to make episode six uh i have tried to do this before and i messed up because of audio but we're going to try again um with episode six because episode five has already really been uh really been done so here we are and we have this blank slate um that's not really what the picture looked like before i changed it up a little bit um with the uh middle part of the well, it's, it's a cue um, in the middle. I changed it up a little bit to make it um, have the grayish center. Uh, it's supposed to be more eye-popping uh, or different from a lot of the other stuff that's on uh, YouTube. Uh, now, let's search for Quake 4 on YouTube. Now we're going to search for Quake 4 on YouTube. And this is kind of what we get. And this was the picture that I used. Uh, but I want it more eye-popping. And we may actually change some of it. It depends depending on um, how uh, it goes. But yes, yeah, see, some people are still using that same, uh, that same logo. And this is just... You know something that I've been doing uh, so let's go ahead and uh, get into our thumbnails here for a second okay so we're gonna pull up this picture because I'm gonna need that picture because that's uh, that's a template for uh, this was originally supposed to be some of the uh, um, the playthrough stuff um, I may actually go back and uh, make a video uh, like this and make that the thumbnail um, but for right now, the thumbnails kind of look like this. Um, and that is, uh, one of the templates. Uh, we have a revitalized or a re, uh, template of it. It's a little bit better, um, a little bit better quality. So anyways, let's uh, go ahead and, uh, get right into, uh, making this template. Uh, first off, um, I'm going to start with my face, uh, that ugly face on the screen. I'm sorry, people. I'm sorry. Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, make sure you get the beard. And we didn't mean to cut that out, but I'll go ahead and cut that out when I can. Okay, so we're going to copy. We're going to come over here. We're going to go down, uh, we'll do that, some of that too. Um, now this is the, this is GIMP, uh, it's a free program that you can download. Uh, and we're going to, we're going to edit new layer. So there's that. And I need a little bit bigger. But yes, uh, this program, the GIMP, I've been using for quite some time, I've figured out how to use it on my own uh there's still some things that i do not know how to do on this thing and we're gonna place that right there now uh there's another thumbnail that's off the other one that we need to get uh there's off screen i'm gonna be pulling up another picture uh making sure that um i know where it is okay okay now i know where it is okay so we're going to go to an open layer. We're going to go to the pictures. I have so many parts, texts, frames, um, all a bunch of stuff. And that's what we're going to, we're going to take this. We're going to turn this with this uh, turning tool that's up here. Return that and then we're going to shrink it down a little bit and then we'll move this to 
this corner right here. Okay, so this is um, basically this would be a, a, a template right here. We'd keep it like this. Now, um, to get the text, we're going to go back out. Um, and to get the text like this, okay, first off, before we get the text, just remember, I want this. I want this right there. Let me go ahead and, because I messed up. I want this right here. So I just used my loop tool. Uh, I try not to get so much of the junk. Uh, I pro I'll probably need to go back and redo it. Maybe redo the way I do things on this, but I'm not too sure if you can tell. So, if there's any other problems with that. Okay, so we're going to line that up. I'll we'll place that right there. Place it right there. Um, it's just something that, you know, gives it a little bit more color. And we're going to merge that back down. Oh, it can't be merged. Wait. There, it's anchored. Anchored down. I actually want to move it back. There we go. Now I'm going to anchor. Anchor it there. So now let's get to the text. So for the text, um, I use a... Um, that is not uh, right. I use a... Um, something called Cool Text. Cooltext.com. This is what I use for all of my texts and getting now see uh getting fonts and stuff now um i will show you i do have a we're going to go over here click that i do have a quake font uh we'll turn it red to make sure that we can see it right now quake um I believe I still have the Quake font. I'm not too sure if I uh, installed it yet. Uh, but, um, yeah, so I thought I had one. But, anyways, let's get this off here. All right, so let's go to cooltext.com. Um, I use um, this right here, Skate, for the uh, bold outline. And we're going to go into font and we're going to click on that. It's going to go in here. Now you have many of different ways, different selections. Um, like let's say games, games. So you know, Starcraft, you know, the old GameCube, even Unreal Tournament. Uh, there is, what is that? Oh, wow. I did not notice this. This is the first time that I was noticing this. This is another Quake. This is Quake. That's Quake 3 Arena. That's pretty cool. Uh, I did not notice that. Uh, because I see Orb. And Orb was one of the characters. I did not notice that. This is the first time I've actually noticed this. So, we take that. And this is in Quake. But it... So... You have to have it all capitalized, capital, capitals, to look like that. Quake. So, um, what we would do is we would. Now I set this to three hundred to make the bowl, uh, to make it big in my picture. Uh, that was like that that's the same text uh, but we're not going to save this we're not going to save it but you would go to uh, after the text you would go to the logo and you would hit whatever color you want mine was white if you wanted a red outline you could do red outline like that 
if you wanted to keep the green look, you could keep the green look. If you wanted to have the same color, I would go down in here, get the color that I really want. Here, find the code. And we're just going to stick that code, paste it right in there. And that, there you go. That's uh, just something easy. Uh, I'm not too sure if you can do a transparent of the actual lettering, but that's something I can do on my own. So anyways, I have these parts already. Um, and I have them saved to the hard drive. So we're going to open a, uh, a layer, and it's in video because I have all of my stuff saved in text files and uh so these are all the, the number ones i haven't finished every single one of them uh that was walk through quake four quake four now that's gonna go somewhere towards the middle um i'm not exactly liking how that four is so far away. Um, that's been bothering me a little bit. So we're just gonna we're just gonna forget about it and we're just gonna that is a we're gonna merge it down, merge it down. And there is Quake four. Now we also have um, our episode. I have a layer for episode episode this one's kind of big so you resize it any way you want to it's just this tool up here and keep in mind that I'm doing a fast work here uh, and normally I would just go ahead blast some music and work on a uh, work on this blasting music okay so now we need episode six now we can go in and we can take the six that's in um my layers but i kind of wanted to stay away from this because you know you could do like hey quake 64 um, so yeah, so we're going to go back to cooltext.com and we're going to type in the word six, but that, okay. And we're going to go to games, going to hit quake. Okay. There's six and we're going to go down to the logo. We need them white and we need this font size to be 200 because that's the size that I've been using. And then we're just going to right click save and I need to put that in there. So it's right there. All I'd come do is down here, open layer. It's in this folder. Uh, we would open that. And yes, it is a little bit bigger, but um, it's it's better. That's really weird. Um, you know, it uh, looked like words we shouldn't be displaying on the screen. <laughs> um, so we would take the word six and put it somewhere there. Uh, I could take episode and resize it and it'd probably look a little bit better. But we got Quake 4, episode 6. And sizing it and getting it in the right spot where I want it, uh, I think I'll, I'll deal with that. I'll deal with that. Okay, so now this is, we are kind of finished. 
but in all of the other um all of the other uh thumbnails are they have something else different on them and i'm trying to get it back in here and show y'all uh, this is episode three, which, um, let's see, today, uh, released yesterday, released yesterday. Um, and so this is Such a Fail, and it's a uh, Quake 4, episode three, Such a Fail, um, and that would be the name of the episode. It should have been, um, it should have been, and I'm hoping everybody's liking the new graphics and st uh, you know stuff uh oh well oh, look there's that there's that really rude comment show people that uh okay so episode four such a noob not out yet scheduled scheduled uh such a fail yeah released so anyways um we would take let's go ahead and delete these we uh, discard changes so we're going to save this like it is because I don't have a name for episode six just yet. Um, and so we're going to call it Q4E6. We're going to just E6. Q4E6 and save it. And that would be our template. Uh, the only thing that we need to add is uh, the words of the name of the episode. Uh, and it's going to be something like uh, something fail, something noob, something along the lines that, you know, some troll back in the day. Do you even lift? No, there's one. <laughs> well, anyways, guys, I hope you uh, love this uh this really not so good tutorial uh for 17 seconds 17 minutes <laughs> but uh anyways guys uh we'll see you in the next video and i hope y'all have a wonderful day see ya if you like this video go ahead and hit that like button if you're a subscriber thank you for coming back in support of my channel and for those of you that are not subscribed go ahead and hit that subscribe button hit the bell and you will be notified when we have a new video for all other forms of social media please look at the links below in the description